Well, hello and welcome to Gospelicious Radio. My name is Pastor Timothy Howard, and welcome to another edition of Tim's Theology Thursday. I do apologize for the sound quality. I'm having a little bit of issue uh, with my recording equipment uh, lately. Adam and I had one uh, little issue uh, a while ago uh, with that. But so if I sound a little funky, uh, just yeah, I have to tolerate it this time. <laughs> But anywho, um, the question for this week is a fairly common one from uh, one of our listeners, and uh, it's kind of theological. I, it's it's biblical question for sure, and uh, I want to encourage you, any kind of questions that you have, shoot them my way. I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. But uh, the question uh, that we have uh, this time is, uh, should a Christian go to church every Sunday? Um should a Christian go to church every Sunday? Emphasis on the every. And so uh, we're going to take a look at what the Bible has to say about that. Should the Christian go to church every single week? Well, let's put five minutes on the clock and answer that question. Here we go. Well, uh, the short answer is yes. Uh, very clearly, a Christian should be in church every single Sunday. And we see that uh, very much commanded in uh various places, probably the most prominent one being Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 that said, not neglecting uh, to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. And then very clearly in the next verse it says, for if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, uh, there no longer remains a sacrifice for our sins. Uh, And we can talk about that second passage there another time because that's a little bit more confusing uh, of a text but very clearly uh, skipping church neglecting to meet together which is the context of local church is sin it is deliberate sin and uh, one that we should be careful of one thing that we have to remember is that church was always meant uh, to be uh, something that uh, that uh, Christians did together. They are the local church. Uh, they are to utilize uh, their gifts, uh, their talents, and their abilities, all for the furtherance of Jesus Christ to build up uh, what Paul calls in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the body of Christ. And uh, it says here, for just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, uh, though many, as one body, so it is with Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews, Greeks, slaves, free, and all made to drink of one spirit. And then it says in a very classic passage, For the body does not consist of one member, but of many. If the foot should say, Because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, uh, that would not make it any less part of the body. And he goes on from there. And so uh, the issue is is that you, just as your whole body, all of the parts function together and need each other in order to function and function properly, um, uh, to not be a part of a local church, to be a Christian and not to be a part of the body of Christ would be, and I've used this analogy before when I've taught from this from the pulpit, would be a, the equivalent of a severed hand or a severed finger or a severed eyeball, a severed body part just sitting there on the table by itself. Is there any use to that body part? No, not at all. But when it's attached to the body, it is useful. When it's being used, when my hands and my fingers are being used, uh, they help each other and they help others. They, my eyes allow me to see, my voice allows me to speak, my, my mouth, my nose allows me to smell and so forth. And so, and so the, the Christian life was always meant to be, uh, to be lived out as a body. More than this, the Bible is not, doesn't just call the church uh, the body of Christ. It also calls it the household of faith. It says in Galatians chapter 6, verse 10, So then as we have uh, opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. And so, again, it's like family. Uh, do you neglect your family? Um, I mean, can you have a family and neglect them? Well, yeah, you can, I suppose, but that doesn't make you a very good family. And um, and so 
Also, uh, there's also the accountability aspects of, of walking as a Christian in the context of the church. Matthew 18, where Jesus gives uh, what we call the church discipline passage. If your brother sins against you, verse 15, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. And if he listens to you, you gain a brother. But if he doesn't listen, take one or two along with you. From where? From the church. That every charge may be established on the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen, tell it to the church. And if you refuse to listen to even the church, I'll let him be to you as a Gentile or a tax collector. Okay, so uh, again, how can you be put out of something that you are not in? It's also an argument for church membership and the importance of accountability in regard to church membership and, and how, why you should join a local church and not just join that local church, but also attend and be a part of the lives of those people each and every single week. And finally, Hebrews 13, speaking from the pastoral perspective, uh, verse 17, it says this, Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authorities uh, because they keep watch over you as those who will have to give an account. Do this uh, so that their work may be a joy, not a burden, for that would be no benefit of you. And so, again, uh, who are your leaders if you don't go to church? If you're not a member of a local church, first and foremost, who are you to submit to uh, if you are not uh, and obey these passages if you don't actually go and attend and serve in the local church, utilizing your gifts and talents, building that community with others, that family with others, having that accountability both from the people and from your leaders. You can't do that apart from actually being in church and, all right, time is up, being in church, attending the local church, and uh, being very, very involved. So let me just say this, is that, you know, the question here in regard to whether or not a Christian should go to church every single Sunday, the answer is yes, but the, but the answer is far more uh, deeper than just going to church. You should go to church, yes, but you should also be the church. You should live as a Christian in the context of the local church. Uh, you shouldn't neglect uh, meeting together. It, it is sinful, as I brought out in Hebrews 10. Uh, you should be utilizing all of your talents and gifts uh, as a body part in the body of Christ. Uh, you should be living uh, as a family member in the household of faith, building those relationships with other with other believers and uh, and fellow Christians within the context of the local church. Uh, seek that accountability, as Jesus said in Matthew 18 and in Hebrews 13. Have a leader who loves you and cares for you and uh, and will be there to keep you accountable. But hope that's answered the question. This has been another Tim's Theology Thursday. Tune in to Gospelicious Radio. I believe we're going to be on number 39. Adam and I are going to be recording that very soon. But uh, again, we thank you so much for your support. Uh, check out our, our Instagram page, our Facebook page. Uh, going to be having a web page pretty soon. Um, you can find all of our other podcasts on Podomatic and other places wherever podcasts are found. Uh, also, we have merchandise, which we're which we are uh, now, uh, which is now readily available. Uh, Twenty dollars for Gospelicious T-shirts um, and uh, a buck or two for uh, these lovely uh, Gospelicious GR uh, stickers, and then we also have coasters as well. But uh, please, uh, you know, again. Uh, continue to subscribe to our channel. That's one of the smallest ways that you can help us. Subscribe, like, uh, spread the gospelicious word. But anyways, this has been Pastor Timothy Howard. Happy painting, and God bless you.